What's going on, God Zero Nation? This is our God Zero. Welcome back to another installment of our God Zero's footy tipping competition. Looking ahead to round 12 action. Thank you for joining me as always. Now, this weekend is the first of three buy rounds. How that works each week over the next three weeks. A handful of teams sit that weekend out, which means we have less games over the weekend, which is a absolute shame for AFL fans. It really is. But it means we can focus more attention on the games at hand. For round 12, we have six teams sitting this weekend out. Those teams are Essendon, Fremantle, Hawthorne, Port Adelaide, St Kilda and the Bulldogs. That gives us six games this weekend. Kicking off Friday night at the MCG with my boys the Tigers taking on Geelong. Now, in all seriousness, let's let's be serious for a second here before I put my tip in. I was going to give Richmond every single chance here to beat Geelong. The last few times we've faced Geelong, we've managed to get the job done. They haven't beaten us since round 21, I think it was, in 2017. And then we went on in the prelim a couple of weeks later and absolutely romped them. News is... David Asprey, Brandon Ellis, will not be playing for Richmond this weekend. Our defensive line is already as munted as it possibly could be, and we've just had another two defenders taken out of the lineup. With that being said, as much as my heart tells me to go with the Tigers, my head is telling me to tip Geelong, and that is exactly where I'm going this weekend. I'm backing Geelong to get it done quite comfortably against Richmond. However, somebody else has different plans because the Reaper is swinging his scythe early this week. It is now time for a segment we like to call The Touch of Death. <laughs> if you've been following this series, you know exactly how this works. If you are new to the series, I'll lay it on the line for you. Each and every week, the Grim Reaper stops in, swings the scythe, and chooses one team to be marked for death. He is so far not tipped a correct tip. He is 0 and 3. Well, if you look at it the other way, he's 3 and 0 in incorrect tips. This week, however, he is in fact marking Geelong for death again. He did so against the Bulldogs. The Bulldogs managed to get up, but he comfortably feels that Richmond's run could provide enough of a headache for Richmond to get up and beat Geelong on Friday night, which will catapult their finals hopes into the stratosphere. If they can knock off Geelong, they'll believe anything is possible. And watch out if they do beat Geelong, because they're a momentum team, and if they can knock off the top elite team in the competition, they will be unstoppable. Just you watch. I'm backing Geelong. The Reaper, however, is going for Richmond. Let me know in the comment section down below if you think the Reaper is on the money this week. However, that's only one game down. We have another five to go. Starting Saturday afternoon at Marvel Stadium, we have Carlton taking on the Brisbane Lions. I tipped Carlton to beat Essendon last week. They were absolutely demoralized. I seriously was gobsmacked when I saw they only scored 33 for the game. I did, however, make the call last week that if Carlton did not get up, Brendan Bolton would exit the club. That move has been made. This week, Carlton pretty much have the new, you know, interim coach step in, which means that the interim coach hoodoo could come into effect. And if so, that would mean Carlton are going to get up and defeat Brisbane. Just like North Melbourne did against Richmond last week under the first game for Reece Shaw as their head coach. However, I think the hoodoo stops with Carlton because Brisbane are going to come down to Marvel and get it done quite comfortably. If Carlton couldn't knock off Essendon, I don't see how they're going to get it done against Brisbane. Brisbane are a level above Essendon this season, no question about it. Brisbane's midfield are going to have an absolute field day. Eric Hipwood I reckon is going to have a field day up forward as well. It could be a real arm wrestle of a game. 
Carlton could come out and absolutely shock the world, but I just don't see it happening. I'm backing Brisbane quite comfortably. Sorry to my Carlton supporting fans on the channel. I do apologise, but after last week, it's very hard to put faith in Carlton. I need to back Brisbane here. Later on that afternoon, Metricon Stadium, the Gold Coast Suns taking on North Melbourne. And if the form North Melbourne had last week is anything to go off, they are going to absolutely monster the Gold Coast Suns this weekend. I don't see the Gold Coast having any answers whatsoever. I firmly believe the game style North Melbourne played last week against Richmond, teams like Geelong, teams like Collingwood, teams like West Coast, they would have struggled against North Melbourne last week. The form they had is the best form I've seen them run with in a very long time, and they would have knocked off anybody. This weekend, if they can roll on with that form, they knock off the Gold Coast Suns in a big way. And then all of a sudden, two wins back-to-back -back under a new coach. Some faith will start building within that club. And people will start thinking finals. I know it's a big stretch, but mathematically, North Melbourne could pull this off if they pull their finger out. I am backing North Melbourne quite comfortably Saturday afternoon. And Saturday night rounds out at Adelaide Oval with Adelaide taking on GWS. Huge game. I honestly think this has the makings of match of the round. I really do. The fact that it's at Adelaide, you would have to back Adelaide in this one. Looking at previous history between the two, it's been a bit of an arm wrestle. It really has. The teams have pretty much come out on top against each other even amount. However, even without the likes of Lockie Whitfield in the team this weekend for GWS, I am still going to tip them to travel to Adelaide Oval and get the job done against Adelaide. Big contentious call, but you've got to be gutsy sometimes with these decisions. And I just think GWS this year have shown a lot more than what Adelaide have. And I think GWS have the goods to get them this time. The last time they played, round 21 last year, 92 to 106. The game before that, 97 to 81. So it's been really close. It has been really close the last couple of hitouts. I think GWS managed to get just over the line this weekend. Ladies and gentlemen, two more games to go. Sunday has only one game of football which sees Sydney taking on West Coast at the SCG. Big game. Sydney need to win this game if they are any chance of keeping any form of finals hopes alive this season. West Coast all but pretty much lock up a top four spot if they can get the job done here. And they need the percentage to do it as well because this year has been a game of percentage. It really has. And I think... West Coast are going to get it done quite comfortably over in Sydney. Sydney don't have that good of a track record at the SCG. They really don't. And I think West Coast are going to expose that this weekend. You have to look at the fact that West Coast are coming in on a very hot streak as well. Everything aside, West Coast get it done for me Sunday afternoon. And Monday, Queen's birthday football. That's what we're here for. That's what we're talking about. The fight for MND with Neil Danaher continues. The big freeze at the G, as they call it. Collingwood taking on Melbourne. Huge game. Collingwood looking at further securing another top four finish. Melbourne just fighting for respect. I really feel Simon Goodwin could be the next coach out. I th really think that could be the case. And I think it is going to be the case because I'm backing Collingwood by a big margin in this game. I just don't see Melbourne having answers for Collingwood. I really do not. They should not have dropped the ball against Adelaide last weekend. And they did, doing Melbourne things. It is going to be interesting to see Grundy taking on Gorn in the ruck, however. The two premier ruckmen of the competition going head-to-head. -head. I just feel around the ground, Collingwood are the better outfit and they're going to get it done quite comfortably for me to round out round 12 action. 
So looking back over the teams I have selected for this weekend, we have gone with Geelong, Brisbane, North Melbourne, GWS, West Coast, and Collingwood. Predominantly the away teams this weekend, surprisingly. However, if you guys have been following the footy tipping competition, be sure to leave your tips in the comment section down below. It really is up for grabs. The top prize is for the taking, and there are a few front runners that are shaping up to do so. Don't worry, guys. I am working on that document. It is coming. I've had to put it on the back foot because I haven't been feeling 100%, but don't worry. I've got all the calculations worked out. I know where people are sitting. It is a very tight contest up the top. Get excited, because soon you'll be getting an updated tally. But that is it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me, as always. If you have been enjoying this, be sure to leave a like on the video. It goes a long way to supporting myself. I seriously cannot thank you guys enough for all that support. If you're new to the channel, I've got plenty of other content to check out. I urge you to do so. And if you enjoy what I'm throwing down, hit that subscribe button. Get on board the God Zero Nation. Social media links are down below. You can hit me up on all of those as well, guys. But that's it from me. I'm out of here. Good luck to your teams this weekend. And as always, I will catch you guys next time.